What do you got? Possible mesenteric tear. Hmm. Hemothorax here. Is Pierce okay? She's in the pit, I think. No, I mean with me. Oh, don't flatter yourself, she'll live. All right, all right. And you know, for what it's worth, I feel pretty bad about it. She's my sister. You think I like telling her she can't have the good thing? Then let's just come clean. Tell her why. Mm. We'll feel better. It'll feel really good. Why don't you just focus on your patient's hemothorax? Good thing. Excuse me. You called me a good thing. Forget I said it. You ain't the boss of me. Actually, I own a big chunk of this hospital, so technically I am. Well then, after you. Damn right. It's possible to hate you, you know. What? You're easy to hate. I hated you when we met. And now? Well, now you're just a bloated corpse. That's it. Maybe you should go out with Maggie. Excuse me? Go back, tell her you changed your mind, and just be terrible. Uh, you know, be rude to waiters, no eye contact, bad breath, close her foot in the door. Just turn off all that. I'm not, I'm not sure what all that means. Is just go out with her and be someone else. Don't be you. Be a jerk. Yes. With bad breath. Exactly. Because being myself would be too. Oh, forget it. You hear about the miracle lady in the ER? M.I. coded her for 40 minutes, dead for 20 more, then she set up. Awake and alive. Well, she's got to be gorked. You can't be down for that long without deficits. Well, we'll see. Pierce is doing a cardiac assessment now. It could be a miracle. She's gorked. You ever have that dream? What dream? The miracle dream. I'd roll over in bed, and there she was, asking me to go make coffee. So real. And then I'd wake up. No, never had that dream. A knock at the door. Sorry? He knocks at the door, says he forgot his keys, and he's sorry for being gone so long. She's gorked. She's awake. The dead lady. No deficits. Fully ungorked. That's great. A miracle. Just saying. Anything can happen, Dr. Gray. <laughs>